My mom is a strong-willed woman in her early 60s. Open a dictionary and turn to the word glue. You'll see a picture of my mom. She keeps our family together. My mom has an open door policy. I can drop by for any reason just to have some tea or eat lunch. Holidays are the best days in mom's kitchen. The aromas of Zeresh Polo and Adas Polo make me want to eat everything the minute I step inside. In winter 2015, my mom was involved in a car accident in Denver. Daily, she struggles with chronic pain due to her injuries. The cortisone injected by doctors worked for a little while. Surgery is a last resort option. It breaks my heart to see her deal with extreme pain in her back and neck. Her day begins by waking up with pain and staying in bed trying to find comfort until late afternoon. Heating pads are pressed against her body with little or no effect. Ibuprofen barely helps and gives her stomach aches. As I rearrange her pillow, she tells me that she can't lift her arms over her head. The pain in her upper body is simply too much. My mom used to take English and psychology classes at Community College of Denver, but she stopped so she can focus on trying to manage her pain. In May 2016, I'm taking a course called Cannabis Culture at CU Denver. The other day, students and I went on a field trip to a grow house in Boulder. After the field trip, I visited the adjacent dispensary and purchased a cannabis salve. Cannabis salve is a topical ointment used for deep muscle relief. It is a hybrid and contains 14.2 mg of THC, 8.6 mg of THCA, and 7.5 mg of CBD. Brooke, the grower and owner of the facility, mentioned that she started this grow house just because of the salve. She was talking about how great of a product it was and how she made it for her father-in-law. Brooke was in the process of making it and it healed her psoriasis. Seeing it was such a miracle drug for her, I figured I would buy it for my mom. It was an impulse purchase and I didn't think that the salve would reduce my mom's pain. When I returned home, I told her about the cannabis-infused salve. She has always been anti-drugs and it didn't surprise me that she was uninterested to use the cannabis on her body. Several hours later, my mom was experiencing pain in bed. She said, I replied, Without talking, she pointed to the area on her back where she felt pain. I applied it. Within minutes, she got out of the bed and said, Dardish Sershot. Standing upright, she lifted up her arms. I couldn't help but smile. A few minutes later, my mom and I are drinking cardamom and saffron black tea in the kitchen downstairs. She tells me, Hichvach Faramushne Mikonam Kubiato.